All right, everyone. This is everything that we need for our reaction. Here we have. Now I've I've scaled this down to um, one quarter of what the scale is in the reference, but um, this is 27.5 grams of hydroquinone. Focus, you piece of shit. There, you can see, like so many organic compounds, it's kind of boring and colorless. Here is 15 grams of sodium chlorate, courtesy of Backyard Science 2000. Wish to thank him again for all of his incredible support to this channel. If you guys want to buy harder to find chemicals, email him. He will send you a product list in the description. Um, actually, there's two friends that you can email for all kinds of hard to find chemicals in the description. Check them both out, y'all. Yeah. Shoot them a message. Um, what we have here is as close as I could get to um, 12.5 grams, or a milli, or sorry, 0.125 grams of vanadium pentoxide. See? Not organic, nice and colorful. Funny how that always works out, right? And here we have 250 mils of 2% sulfuric acid also colorless and inorganic so I guess it doesn't always hold true anywho what I'm gonna do now is combine all of these in this round bottom flask and according to the protocol the way it reads you should literally just have to combine these things in here and let it stir for three and a half to four hours in order to get our product. I mean, it would we have to do more after that, obviously. But um, that's what we need in order to get this reaction to work. Um, so, but I mean, it doesn't say it has to be done under inert gas or that, you know, the temperature has to be controlled. Um, now, it does say that the temperature will go up to about 40 C, but not to let it go over that. But it only referred to that, and it specifically said in the protocol that that was for if you scaled the reaction up from what was given in the protocol, which started with 110 grams of hydroquinone. So, I mean, I don't think that we're going to have to worry about it. Nevertheless, I am going to keep an eye on the temperature to make sure we don't exceed it. So, I'm going to go ahead and add everything to our flask now, and we will get this puppy started. Move our piece of shit camera. There we go. All right. First, I'm going to go ahead and add in this. This is our hydroquinone. Now, it does say it's going to need to be stirred vigorously, so just keep that in mind. Here is our sodium chlorate. Vanadium pentoxide. And I'll go ahead and move this down so I can get the stirring going right away. I don't want it turning into a solid lump. Okay. All right. Stir you bugger. Oh, you better not be pulling this crap. I will change you out. Don't think I won't. You son. Last thing I need is damn stir bar deciding it's gonna be obstreperous. Sometimes a smaller stir bar really is better. All right, well, you can see there's our mix, and I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer now. And um, yeah, we'll come back when there's something to report.
Okay everybody, so it's been a little over three hours, probably about three hours, 15 minutes or so, but I'm going to call it done. Um, the temperature increased rapidly, well not rapidly, but it um, kind of spiked unexpectedly after about an hour up to a little bit above 40 C, but then it came back down. Um, and now it's basically at the ambient temperature of the air. So the next step is to cool it down um, in some water. I'm going to use a, some water with a little bit of ice in it just because it's so warm out here. Um, and once this chills down a little bit, um, I'm not going to let it go for too terribly long because I don't want it solidifying. Um, I'm just going to cool it down a little bit. Then I'm going to filter it through my finely somewhat cleaned um, glass filter there. I tell you what man, getting that crap off that from that barium permanganate nightmare, yeah that has been a real chore. Um, anywho, so I will come back once I have this taken apart um, and it's chilled down a little bit and we're ready to move on to the filtration step. Okay people, there goes nothing. Oh my god, the smell is Wow. Okay, yeah, we're not going to be too concerned about yield, just so long as we've got some, and I think that qualifies as some, I'm going to be happy. You can extract the filtrate with dichlor, you know what, no, <laughs> with dichloromethane, or if you're feeling really brave, benzene. I'm just going to wash this with some cold water like it says to. Stay in the flask. Okay. There we go. Okay, it's not so bad now. Oh, it's giving me a headache. Okay, I already know I don't like this stuff. It is very pretty, but I'm not a fan. <laughs> okay, so here is my brilliant plan for trying to dry this crap. Um, my biggest concern is that, I mean, even though the protocol says to dry it out in the desiccator um, with calcium chloride, which I have right here, I'm concerned it's going to sublimate all over the goddamn place. So I am going to do it in this. I knew if I saved my roommate, or kept my roommate from throwing this fucker out, I would have a use for it one day. If it sublimates under the glass, well... The calcium chloride will absorb all the water, and I can just scrape the stuff off the glass, even off of there. So it should be exceptionally easy to remove. So, um, yeah, yeah. But I tell you what, this is rednecking it to, to the nth degree right here. But hey, it might work. Because uh, I, I just don't see how this shit is not going to sublimate all over the fucking place. Um, it already sublimated onto the thermometer in the reaction flask. <laughs> so yeah, I, th I think it's going to be kind of sublimate all over the place. So um, yeah, especially as hot as it out is out here. So hopefully this works, y'all. Fingers crossed. All right, everybody. Well, there we go. There is our crude um, parabenzoquinone. So we will hope it dries out without sublimating everywhere and um, I will purify it by sublimation although I'm not going to put that in the video um, even the protocol says that this crude um, product is suitable for most purposes um, the melting point is according to the protocol again only supposed to be a degree or two off from the pure stuff so um, I don't know 
I may sublimate it and purify it. I probably will, just for the hell of it. But I'll post um, updates about it to the community tab, and of course on YouTube, and of course Discord. If you want to keep up with any of the stuff that I have going on between videos, um, make sure to check us out on Discord. There's a very cool group of people there. So, anyway, if you liked that video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe, comment, share the video far and wide. And until the next one, y'all, I will see you later. It is pretty fucking cool. It really is. I've been wanting to do this for so long.